And we have some significant experience at Judicial Watch with pre-publication review issues. The idea that they would turn this around effectively in less than two hours at the break of dawn is it, it's, I, do I need to tell you what that means? It means it was wired. The deep state has been protecting tr Biden, obviously, from I'd like from being exposed on his mental incapacity. I'd love to know what the CIA or the national security people briefing Biden were telling their superiors during these briefings. Were they informed he was out of it? I think that's something worth following up on, don't you think? And of course, the CIA helped protect Biden, has always targeted Trump. And we have new proof of it in the Hunter Biden laptop issue. Uh, we had these 51 former Intel officials that involved CIA directors or former CIA directors, according to a new report from Congress, even contractors, people who were working for the CIA, falsely imply that the Biden, Hunter Biden laptop was government disinformation. And that material, that letter was released just before the debate. It was a Clinton, excuse me, Freudian slip. It was a Biden campaign operation. It was an independent action by disinterested people. It was set up by the Biden operation through Tony Blinken, who worked with former Clinton supporter, Obama's appointee, Mike Morrell, obviously a Biden supporter, to provide cover for Joe Biden on the Hunter laptop, which showed that Biden was a liar when he said he wasn't involved in Hunter's business, and Hunter's business was the business of racketeering. And that letter, that 51 former Intel deep state letter, helped provide further justification to suppress and censor this information just before the election. And Hunter even, I mean, Joe even mentioned it in the debate. We found out that the CIA rushed approval of this letter in a way that I've never seen before. Judicial Watch headline, FOIA lawsuit emails show CIA rushed approval of infamous Hunter laptop letter by 51 former Intel officials before the election. We received eight pages of records from the CIA showing Mike Morell, former acting CIA director under Obama, requesting CIA permission to publish a letter by former intelligence community leaders stating that they believe the laptop emails exposing Hunter Biden's connections to Ukraine were Russia disinformation. Morell's request for pre-publication pre review was approved in just six hours by the CIA. Six hours! They can't, they can't just get, the pre-publication review operation at CIA can't decide what to get for lunch in six hours. Congress separately found that this pre-publication request was sent all the way upstairs and even shown to top leaders of CIA, including it looks like the CIA director under Trump, who looked the Betty, even though an appointee of Trump, an anti-Trumper in essence. So we sued for the records, then this is the email we received from Mike Morell, sent at 6.36 a.m. in the morning to the CIA Publications Classification Review Board with a copy to Mark Polymeropoulos, a former CIA senior intelligence officer. This is a rush job. It needs to go out as it needs to go out as soon as possible. He literally called it a rush job. This is five days after the New York Post article on the laptop. The emails further show at 8.01 a.m. on the same day 
a CIA official whose name is redacted, sent Morell's request to an official whose name is also redacted. Below is a high-profile, high-alert action item for 19 October. Why is it a high alert? What's the emergency other than an election? Former DD CIA Michael Morell, so a recognition of his powerful prior position, submitted for review the attached manuscript, public statement on the Hunter Biden emails. Morell advised us that this article was co-authored by with former DO officials, Mark Polly Maropoulos, and that many former senior and working level officials from across the IC will sign and then be made public. PCRB has determined the manuscript contains no classified information. So that's two hours they figured out. Nothing, nothing to see here. We, we don't have, we have this board that meets to figure out whether or not there's anything classified. And we've met before business hours in response to this request from the Biden operation. At 11.44, five hours and eight minutes after Morell sent the request, someone says you can notify Morell. And then it goes out an hour later, so that's six hours in total, Morell's told, world record, the pre-publication classification review board completed its review of your article. The board determined it contains no classified information. Agency approval for publication of this material does not represent agency endorsement or verification of the work. These documents are astounding. That the CIA would turn around a campaign document like this for Joe Biden's team in six hours is insane news. That was my statement. Absolutely insane. I, I can't believe this. I mean, we have some significant experience at Judicial Watch with pre-publication review issues. The idea that they would turn this around effectively in less than two hours at the break of dawn is it, it's, I, do I need to tell you what that means? It means it was wired. This seems to be demonstrable campaign interference by the CIA and should be concerning and alarming to all Americans. And again, we got this out with a federal lawsuit. Now, Congress had a big report on this and they highlighted how CIA people who were still working for the CIA had, were signers. This was kicked around upstairs to the CIA and it was only Judicial Watch that exposed how quickly it was turned around for Morell and got that level of detail. So I'm glad Congress got that report out and it shows you how the way things I think are should work at, you know, it's not perfect. Congress does its heavy lifting, Judicial Watch does its heavy lifting. They get some information, we get different information. And together, it means the public has a fuller understanding of this major corruption scandal, which is the CIA coming in and helping the Biden campaign with this quick turnaround on a document implying that the national security establishment has concluded that the Hunter Biden laptop was a Russia disinformation operation, when in fact it was no such thing. And they all knew better, purely political. They weren't in position to say one way or the other. And of course, this is part of Judicial Watch's, again, this litigation is one of, I would say, I guess it's, it's got to be nearly two dozen lawsuits at this point. I mean, we sued for records on the IRS investigation of Hunter. I mean, we sued about uh, allegations that Hunter and Joe were involved in bribery schemes. We sued the National Archives for the Biden records scandal documents and all sorts of other issues related to the cover-up and the efforts to help Joe. But here we have information that the CIA rushed a sensitive review 
on behalf of the Biden operation. And they knew what was happening, because as soon as it was published, as Congress noted, the people in the CIA got nervous about the political implications. They knew it was political. I mean, the guy sends it over at 6 a.m. He effectively, the decision's made by 8 a.m. And the only government side of it was the delay that didn't get him the official response until a few hours later. Just incredible. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like our video down below.